guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I have no makeup on today, and there's a reason for that. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I got the brand new Naked Reloaded palette. And you guys have no idea how excited I was to receive this because I love the Naked palettes. I think they're amazing. They're so good for people that like just very natural looks. They're just good go-to palettes. And when the Naked palette was discontinued, I was like, they're gonna do something. They're gonna like re like launch it or they're gonna remake it slightly, they're gonna change it and then they're gonna like, you know, do this big giant release for it. Like that's kind of what I thought would happen and sure enough, I was correct and they came out with the Naked Reloaded. Now this palette is really unique. It has like a pillowy top to it. So it's like fabric. It feels kind of like silk in a way and it's pillow top. So that's kind of unique. The only downside to this is I feel like it, it could get really dirty. Um, I don't really like fabric palettes for that reason. Like I feel like the first naked palette was that velvet. That one had a tendency to get very, very dirty for the same reasons. So this here is what the palette looks like. As you guys can see, it's very similar, I feel like, to the old naked palette. This one I feel like just is a little bit more up with the trends. I feel like it has more warm colors because I do feel like the old naked palette was definitely cool toned. I felt like whenever I used it, I always kind of got a more like gunmetally silver look when I used it. So they definitely incorporated a lot more warm tones in this one which is awesome. So the top one is the regular Naked, the bottom one is the Naked Reloaded. So as you guys can see, there's definitely some more peachy tones. And I feel like I really like the colors of the Naked Reloaded a little bit more than the original Naked, but they're both really, really pretty. Um, this one is just a little bit more up with the trends, I feel like, so. And please ignore this giant Band-Aid on my finger, you guys. I was cutting a bagel this morning and I literally almost cut my finger off, I'm not kidding. Like, I cut a chunk off of my pinky. So, so we are going to use this in the makeup tutorial today and I'm going to do something really fun for you guys and just kind of play around with the colors. And then at the end, I will let you guys know what I think of this palette, like overall, and my final thoughts on it and let you guys know if it's worth buying or if it's not worth buying. So I'm gonna start off with um, foundation. So what I've been doing with foundation lately is mixing my CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation. This is in L80. And then I also mix my Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation, and this is in LN4. And I'm also going to be using my favorite concealer, which is the Color Correct by Hard Candy. I love this stuff. I think it might be discontinued. I'm not sure. Last time I was at Walmart, I didn't see it there and I was like panicking. And then for my face powder, I'm just going to use the Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder. And this is Radiant Translucent. And I have been using very little powder lately. I've been just using just the most minimal amount, whereas I used to just like load it on my face. But I feel like I like the look of a more like natural dewy look lately. So I'm just gonna be using a little bit of this, not too much, but it's just gonna be able to set it just enough to kind of give me a nice dewy look, so. All right guys, so I have my overall foundation routine done. Now I'm gonna do my bronze boot, wait, what is this? <laughs> Butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. I still love this stuff. This was my best products of the year video last year and it's still like my favorite. I use it every day. So I am just going to apply that into my contours. And I love this because it's such a natural shade. Like you're not getting that really, really intense bronzer look, which I can't stand where it just looks like a stripe on your face. This is such a natural look and I love how it smells. <laughs> so I'm just putting that in my cheekbone area. And lately I've been kind of doing a little bit more of like a, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like blended contour. So I like blend it up into my cheek area. Plus I feel like it gives me a little bit more of a tanner look since it is winter and I'm white as a ghost. And then under my chin. I just feel like it gives me a very diffused bronzer contour look, which I really, really like. And then a little on my nose. And then for my blush, I'm actually gonna be using the Bye Bye Pores blush, and this is in Jeunesse Sacroix. 
Je ne sais quoi. Ooh, je ne sais quoi. That's I know that I know that word. This is a really pretty like pinky blush, very very natural. I'm just going to apply that to my the apples on my cheeks. So this is the highlighter I've been using. I think this was one of my best products of the year. This is the NYX I Love You So Mochi. And I'm gonna use this cute little brush by It Cosmetics. Um, and then I'm just going to put it in the champagne color and the pink color. And I'm just going to apply it to my cheekbones. And I really like this highlighting trio because it kind of has like a glittery look, which is kind of a nice change up sometimes. Um, and it's really, really pretty, I love it. Look at that. Can I see that? Isn't that beautiful? All right, you guys, so I have my eyebrows done. Sorry I didn't show it on camera. I don't feel like you guys need to see me do my eyebrows every time I do a video, but let me know if you guys wanna see like an updated brow routine or something like that. Maybe I can do that. I haven't done one of those in probably like five years, so it might be due. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start on my eyes. I'm just going to put this in fast motion and kind of talk over it a little bit so you guys know what I'm doing. All right, so I got brand new brushes. They're all nice and clean. Um, because I feel like sometimes when you use dirty brushes, like you don't get the proper color payoff, if you know what I mean. So, got brand new brushes out for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start playing around with this. And I'll let you guys know what I do as I go. And then I'll let you guys know what I think at the end. So the first color that I turned to was this really pretty peach color and it's called Retro and it's a matte peach. And when you put it on your skin, it's actually a little bit more pink than it looks in the palette, but I think it's probably just mixed with you know your natural skin tone, I would imagine. Um, but it definitely gets toned down once you put the other colors on your eye, like the blender color usually does. So I just applied that into my crease area and blended it out really, really nicely. So it just kind of gave me a nice flush of color on my eyes. The next color that I used was Endgame, and this is like a matte kind of coffee brown color. And this is a really pretty color. This is the only dark color in the palette, but I just applied that to the outer corners and then the crease area. And then I blended it all the way in to kind of like, I would say three quarters of my eye. I didn't go all the way to the inner corner of my eye, but I blended it so it was a really nice gradient to the inner corner of my eye, if that makes sense. And I really wanted to do this because I wanted to add like a sparkle shade right in the middle. And I feel like sparkle or glitter always looks really good over a darker color. So I went ahead and I did that on both eyes and then I also added this to the outer corner of my bottom lash line. So I went ahead and I took more of that retro shade and I blended it out with that darker shade we did. And then I took Barely Baked, which is a gold, and I just took my finger and I applied that to the middle part of my eye and blended it out. I'm not a huge fan of the cut crease. I prefer more of like a diffused type of look for, you know, those middle like bright shimmery colors. So I just used my finger and I blend it out. And I thought this looked really, really pretty over that dark brown that we did. And then I took that same Barely Baked and I put a little tiny bit on the center part of my lower lash line and just kind of blended everything out. And then I took this Angel Fire shade. This is like a really glittery, like light pink champagne color. And this was kind of pigmented. I feel like this would have been more pigmented if I would have used my finger or applied it over like a base or something. But it's your typical like glitter color, which I feel like those tend to be less pigmented a lot of times. And then I just did bribe and I put that on my, uh, under my brow bone for the highlight. And then I did my winged eyeliner. Then I went in with this black eyeliner by IT Cosmetics and I just put it on my lower waterline and lower lash line and I blended it out with a brush just because I wanted that really smoky look on my lower lash line and I just tend to do this. It looks good on me because I have really, really big eyes. So normally I like to kind of smoke out my bottom eyeliner a little bit. Of course you don't have to do that but I just feel like it looks better on my specific eye type. So once I have my eyeliner on, I went ahead and I curled my eyelashes and then I used the Essence Mascara. It's the 
Princess Lash Mascara. It's one of my favorites. And I just applied that to my lashes. I actually didn't want to do fake lashes today because I'm actually taking my kids sledding later and I just didn't want to deal with fake eyelashes. So I didn't, but I love this mascara. It really gives me like that fake eyelash look. Plus I've been using like an eyelash enhancer serum, which has made a huge difference as well. I'm listening to 90s R&B right now and it is so good. I'm gonna be doing my favorite lip combo at the moment and it is the Flower Beauty Lipstick in Spiced Petal and it looks like this, just a really pretty My Lips Better color. And then over the top of that, I do Tenderness by Milani and this is like a really thick lip gloss and this is a really pretty like brown color so I will show you guys what this combo looks like. So while I'm applying this, can somebody tell me where you can find Flower Beauty now? I get it sent to me in the mail, and I know they used to sell it at Walmart, but I haven't seen it at my Walmart. So if you guys know of another store that sells it, please let me know in the comments because I'm really curious, because I really like Flower Beauty, but I just can never find it anywhere, and it sucks. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I just did a really pretty kind of like peachy, brown natural eye. I don't really know how else to explain it. I really liked how pigmented the colors were. I thought they worked fantastic on my eyes. And because I used brand new brushes with no existing pigment on them, I got really true color payoff. And I loved how they, you know, blended on the eye, how they look on the eye. I just think they're fantastic as far as that goes. I just have one single complaint about this palette, but this is like my own personal preference. Like, it's just one of those pet peeves. It doesn't necessarily make this palette bad by any means. And that would be the fact that there's only one dark shade. And if you look at this palette, almost all of the colors are in the mid-toned, like medium range. Like, it's just very medium, all the colors, medium to light. And I feel like if they had one more dark contrasty shade, there would be so much more like variation in the type of eye looks that you could create. I feel like because there's only one dark shade, like all of the looks are going to kind of look the same because this is the only one you can smoke it out with. Like maybe if they had like a dark reddish brown or I don't know, like a charcoaly blackish brown, I feel like you could just do so many more looks with this palette. So that's the only downside that I find with this palette, but at the same time, I understand why they didn't because, I mean, this is the perfect palette for every day. Like if you want just like your simple day-to-day -day eye look, like this is the palette that you should turn to because it's really, really good in that regard. Um, so that's my only complaint, but like I said, it's not like it's like a big deal really. I also wanted to mention too that these colors here and these colors here are both larger in size, which I actually think is a really good idea. I've never really seen a palette do that and I think they picked really good colors to do that with. They have the blender color here, which let's be honest, we always use a ton of our blender colors. Like those are always the colors that I run out of first. So that's really good they did that. We have a kind of nude color here. Good for like setting the eye or doing like the base color on your lid. We have a highlighter color and then the really pretty gold that I applied in the middle of my eye. And you guys know I've tried out a ton of Naked palettes. I've tried out a lot of Urban Decay palettes. Um, I get all of their palettes in the mail, so I try almost every single one that they come out with. And I have to say that this might be my favorite. Like if you're gonna buy one palette by Urban Decay that has come out fairly recently, this is the one. This is the one you're probably gonna get the most use out of. I mean, we do our makeup kind of for every day anyways. That's kind of what we do our makeup for, and this is gonna be probably your best bet as far as that goes. Sometimes I have my like friends that aren't as into makeup as me text me, and they're like, what palette should I buy? I have no idea. There's too many, like which one do you recommend? I would 110% recommend them this palette. In fact, I probably will start recommending this palette to my friends if they ask, because I think it's just such a good go-to. So I think that this palette is like a five star. I love it, I think it's great, and I will definitely be using that almost every day, probably in the future. So yes, good job Urban Decay, I love it, and I'm very, very happy. So anyways guys, I hope that you liked this video. I hope that maybe I gave you some information to go off of when purchasing this palette or whether or not you're gonna purchase this palette. And I hope you guys liked this makeup look. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while and I was really excited to do this one. Like. For a while there, I was kind of getting tired of doing makeup looks over and over, but because I got this palette and I was so, so excited to use it in a video, I was 
very excited to film this look and so I really like that feeling to be excited about filming makeup tutorials versus feeling like I have to film them and this was one that I was actually really excited to film so I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notifications if you are interested and also follow me on my other social medias and I think that's it so I'll talk to you guys in my next video and I hope you have a great day bye